No. No. No, it's fine. I'll just throw it right there. Because you don't need it either. <laughs> well, friends, let's get cracking. Today we are making bread with beer. <laughs> ah! <laughs> get right in there. Yeah, we've got an assortment of beers here today. I'm sure you could use whatever beer you wanted. And I, we're not really big bread makers, are we? But this bread is so easy. Right? It's How ridiculous. easy is it? So easy. Voila! It's so good. It's so good. So, um, before let's... we start muddling this all up, yeah. I mean, I know you're going to cut and edit. Um, you should. Did you get the yeah the, the B roll? I already did that. Oh, Always do. Oh wow! Yep. So Holy it's okay. Holy banana! So no cut, folks. This is just going right through uncut. No, I'm just that prepared. And he asks the same questions every time, so I I know now that. But I it should, is cut. Should do that ahead. It is. See, yeah, that's look, cut look, and prepared. Look at that. Everything is already done. Everything's measured out. All here. our favorite things here: beer, bread, butter, cats, Peace. pigs. Turkeys? Turkeys? Everybody's dogs. here. So, all right, well, let's get started. We're making beer bread, and it's so, so easy. So, everything's all here and ready to go. You'll see everything that we need is right here. We've got three cups of flour. I'm going to ask you to do this. And wait, did you wash your hands? Did I make you mix that dough with your hands? So, I think everybody should see you wash your hands. I am dirty. Just so that we know that is Derek's beer that's not going in the bread. There are over two million transmittable diseases known from hand to mouth. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got everything we need right here. I've got three cups of flour. Now, we don't have a proper sifter, but this little kind of, this thing seems to do the trick just fine. Like, so we don't bake a whole lot. So we don't necessarily have all of the baking accoutrements that a seasoned baker might already have in their kitchen. But there we go. Three cups of flour sifted. You're going to be done by the time I finish washing my hands. That's okay. There. The mixing part's important. That's what we need your clean hands for. You don't want to know what song I'm singing We've twice got a, in my head right now. A teaspoon of salt is going through the sifter. We've also got a tablespoon, a healthy tablespoon of um, baking powder. So that is in there. And we've here also got three tablespoons of um, granulated cane sugar. So that'll go through there, all through the sifter. A little makeshift sifter anyway. That can go back there. What I didn't bring home for you is a little whisk. Uh, so the oven should be preheated to... 375. 375. And how long a does it need mix. to cook for? It's going to cook for... Now, I've been doing it for about... Recipe calls for 45 minutes, but I've been letting it go for about... 35 minutes in our oven. The first time I made this, I thought it was just a little bit overdone, so I brought it back a little bit. I know some ovens cook faster than others. Ours is convection. I don't know if that makes a difference. If you don't have plant-based stick butter, what can you use? Margarine? Probably. I haven't tried it. We're using dairy-free butter. That's <laughs> what the recipe calls for. So we're using plant butter. Um, but yeah, I would assume that Deer you could use... you're like, oh no. Well, I don't Give know. Give it a shot, folks. If you try, it. Have, if, you know, try it with margarine. I'm sure I it would be assume, fine. And that reminds me, that needs to be melted. So that has been mixed up. And now I need you to add... This is 12 <laughs> ounces of beer. So the beer has to be at room temperature. Yeah, so that can go straight in there. Into the flour? Yep. All right. A little bit at a time, or like? Well, I mean, you're, the bubbles are what's going to make it rate, rise, I think. This is my understanding. Again, now there's somebody watching may know better and be written in the comments furiously at me right, right now. But the gentler you seem to be with it, the more fluffy and kind of better it is. So you're going to mix it right with your hands. And then you're also going to throw in, you can use either brown sugar or you can use maple syrup. Um, so we've got maple syrup. Again, it's going to make it a little bit more moist, but if you don't more have Canadian. access to yeah, and a little bit more Canadian and delicious. So we're going to use maple syrup, so you can put that in there as well, and then you're going to hand mix that all up together. So not the brown sugar then? Not the brown sugar, it's either or. That's simply for demonstration purposes. And I'm using my hands. Use your hands. This is why we wanted everybody to see you use them. Now, yeah, so you're going to just mix until it's combined. You don't want to over mix it. Again, I think it's because you don't want the beer to go flat, ultimately. I think you still want some carbonation in there when it goes into the oven. And beside it here, we've got a, a 5 by 9 inch um, greased pan. So I used about just under a tablespoon of the plant butter. Um, try margarine, as per Derek's suggestion. Oh, it as wasn't well. a suggestion. Uh, I just thought, uh, like, <laughs> sometimes you can't find certain ingredients, totally. and that is one of them, like uh, the, the sticks definitely, of butter. Definitely. 
Um, but yeah, so just under a tablespoon, we use that. And again, use my hands to really give that kind of a pretty thick coating here on the pan. So get that all mixed up. It really uh, turned out to be quite doughy. It's, it does, yeah. It's, it's like almost like a pizza dough. Flour down there. Remember the just barely until it's combined mixed it. <laughs> <laughs> See, oh, beats I that love out of it. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, we probably would have made sure that was a little bit more spicy. Derek got a little bit of flour in there, but that's <laughs> that's pretty much what we're looking for. Look at me. We're gonna we're gonna spread this right out. It's such an easy recipe, and it's kind of fun because kids could do that. It's so easy; a child could do it properly, um, and then, <laughs> um, and it's fun to get your hands I, all sticky. I am older than you. I know. I know. <laughs> I know this is true. This is true. So, so that's that. That goes right into the pan. And here, I've got three tablespoons of melted butter that I'm going to pour evenly over the top. A little shake through here. And then one other thing I've been doing that I thought was, it's not in the recipe, but I just, I've made it quite a few times and been playing with it. Another thing that kind of gives a nice little, little zing to is if you just drizzle just a tiny bit of syrup on the top as well. Just a little bit there, and it just gives a little bit of a a sweet crust there. And then that's that. That's I've been called many things, but a sweet crust. A sweet crust isn't one of them, eh? <laughs> so into the oven we go now. Sorry. For like I said, about 35 to 45 minutes, and that's it. When it comes out, you're gonna flip it over onto a cooling rack, let it cool, and you are off to the races. If you don't have a timer, it's about two beers. About two beers. It's about two beers. <laughs> about two beers. Um, so, simple, easy, delicious. It would go so well. I mean, this isn't a sandwich bread, of course, but it would go really well Oops. with the black bean soup that we made last week, for example, which is what I have also whipped up this morning. See, it's that easy. I had time to make soup and... No, this is the black bean soup from last this week. This is not. Don't <laughs> tell people ridiculous things. <laughs> so we've got a nice little cup of soup here. Well, it's a bowl, but not a whole lot. Okay. So yeah, this goes great with soup. It would be really nice, I'm sure, with like a chili as well. Thank you. Take a piece of this. Take a piece of this. A piece of this. A piece of this. I'll give you a piece of this. Check this out. Mm. It's delicious. It's about the bread, not the soup. I was going straight for the soup. <laughs> I love that soup. Okay. What do you think? We go, Dave. Let's take it in. See what right. it looks better than the first time around. Um, it does. Well, it takes some play in, right? The first time I overdid it, and like I said, being a little bit more gentle with the dough and that sort of stuff seems to help make it a little bit fluffier. It's good to have, um, you know, extra ingredients on hand so you can try it a couple times, mm -hmm. and also good to not, to, you know, not try a new recipe uh, before guests are arriving. <laughs> one time I did that. One time I failed. What was it? It failed banana. Oh, I wasn't coconut curry. Is I that what you're recalling? Oh no, I wasn't <laughs> sticking. To, you, you, you carrying that around still? Oh, we were having a dinner party, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna whip up something really spectacular, and yeah, it was a bit of a disaster. But a for effort. That's not what I was referring to. Let's go see Just what <laughs> Esther thinks of this. Hey, Miss Picker. She wants a beer. Oh, oh Esther Pig. face. What is this, Miss Mosey? Oh, open that was on the way by. Did you see that? Soup and beer? Soup and beer bread? Oh, your favorite thing? Well, it's about the bread, so we should let her try the bread first, Oh, Esther. look at who's coming in here, too. Oh, baby, here. Come vulture. here, Esther. Look at this vulture. Look, look, this look, look, look. <laughs> Did he steal the whole piece? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Esther, what wow, do you Cornelius think? approves of the oh, beer bread. Check this out. Look, Cornelius look is loving it. <laughs> Esther is very excited, leaning in. Oh, I'd say oh. the beer bread is a success. Cornelius is sneaking back around With here. The whole family, tiny bit of soup. Baby this is so oh. easy. You can prepare fresh bread, oh. fresh soup, With simple ingredients baby. prepared simply With on this? Esther's kitchen. Oh, give it a try, guys. This is awesome. And like Derek said, so so easy. Esther, do you want to try go. some of my bread? Oh, thank oh you see, yes, much. I do oh, feel once in soup. <laughs> good luck, guys. Happy baking. Enjoy. Okay, so good. 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 Good.
Yeah, yeah, yeah.